All right, we want to get back to that pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Let's get over to Mark Lou. Where is this car now? Well, I'll tell you, she was sky cow having to sort through a lot of white SUVs on the 405, but there's only one of them that's doing this, driving extremely recklessly, switching lanes randomly like this. So this is definitely the vehicle that we are looking for. And now we see our first CHP unit, lights and sirens. I believe that was a CHP unit that was just on the right shoulder here, right uh, by uh, where where we were passing. It was, I think it was, I want to say it was on Sepulveda uh, or possibly uh, Culver Boulevard. That CHP unit was right there waiting. And this driver pulled a very risky maneuver right by that CHP unit. And that uh, CHP officer clearly identified this is the driver we're looking for. So went lights and sirens after this white Audi uh, SUV stolen out of the Costa Mesa area. Uh, so now we're on surface streets here. Uh, this is in the Culver City area. This is on the east side of the 405. Uh, and you can see once again, she with this extremely dangerous driving that this driver has exhibited multiple times in this pursuit in the last 45 minutes, driving down the center median, driving on the shoulder, going the wrong way through traffic, completely ignoring lights and stop signs and uh, approaching speeds of 80 miles an hour on surface streets here as we head north. I believe this is um, this might be Sepulveda Boulevard that we're on actually. Uh, yeah, we're crossing Palms, getting into the Palms area. So it's unclear how long CHP is going to stay behind this uh, driver now that they're off the freeway. CHP does do this. They will engage on surface streets. But the longer this driver stays on surface streets, I believe the more likely CHP is going to try and hand this off to the jurisdiction of the law enforcement that it's in. That could be either Culver City PD or if we head into LAPD's territory in just a second, it might be the LAPD. Yeah, and you see this driver reaching speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, Mark. You wonder if the driver has noticed that she's being followed by CHP at this point. Um, because we this is we haven't really seen law enforcement get close except for just those past few minutes, but she's been driving erratically this entire time. And for people just joining us, we should remind them this is not the original driver of this vehicle. This started as a stolen vehicle following. This was the passenger in the vehicle, Mark. Yeah, that's exactly right. There were two people in this car. Costa Mesa PD went into a following. They believed it was a stolen vehicle at some point. Uh, that driver got out and was taken into custody. I believe it may have been by Costa Mesa PD. It could have been by L.A. County Sheriff's. We're not sure because we did not have eyes on the pursuit at that time. It was still pretty far to the south of where Sky Cal was. But whatever happened, the passenger in this white Audi SUV was a woman. She jumped into the driver's seat and took off. And that was more than, I'd say, 45 minutes ago and has been leading law enforcement through now three juris, four jurisdictions uh, on this pursuit. Uh, as you can see there on the right side of your screen, this is earlier in the Compton area. This is when L.A. County sheriffs were chasing her uh, wrong side of the road. And then a very reckless driving on the 105 freeway when uh, this driver went uh, all the way over to the shoulder, making incredibly dangerous lane changes. And uh, now we're uh, right near the intersection of the 10 and the 405. I do see the sheriff's airship still continuing to follow this car, but uh, you know, Sky Cow may have just temporarily lost it again. That might be the vehicle there. It's uh, it's been a challenge to, to follow this this uh, SUV uh, this afternoon because there have been no lights and sirens behind it. So um, that's uh, usually we can track the vehicle just by the sheer number of law enforcement behind it. But it doesn't look like CHP is behind it anymore. They may have sent this back to the airship to follow. OK, yes, yeah, so many white vehicles out there. And you also wonder at this point if law enforcement has an idea of who this passenger is because the driver surrendered. Um, possibly the driver has told them who this is or there's some association there. Um, you wonder where this person also is going. Do they think that they're trying to get to a safe spot? Is there somewhere they're going to feel comfortable surrendering? Or are they unaware that they're being followed at this point and they think they've gotten away? Uh, well, there is a tremendous number of helicopters over this driver. Driver. It's not just law enforcement, but it's also the media airships like SkyCal. So all this driver has to do is really roll down their window and they're going to hear what sounds like a small air force over them of helicopters. Uh, but it's unclear exactly where they are now. I do see the, the L.A. County uh, Sheriff's Airship is following, is circling in an area to the west of the 405, north of the 110. That's on the opposite side of the freeway where SkyCal is now. So I'm going to try and direct the pilot over there. But it does appear that this vehicle is still moving. They're just, uh, they're just not being pursued on the ground by any CHP units 
right now they're back in following mode. So uh, this is sort of the game sometimes that uh, law enforcement ends up doing this dance of jurisdiction of who is going to take this pursuit uh, that's very far from where it started in Costa Mesa. So it's going to be probably either end up being the LAPD or perhaps the CHP again if they if they re-engage, Sheba. All right, and we see the difficulty <laughs> with law enforcement trying to track this vehicle. Possibly that is it here. It is a white Audi, very popular vehicle. Um, so we're seeing several of those on the roadway and law enforcement clearly trying to pinpoint the vehicle again. It, it, the thing that may help them spot it, this driver has been driving very erratically for the last 45 minutes or so, as Mark said, swerving into oncoming traffic. So far, we haven't seen any accidents or crashes that we know of during this pursuit, but this driver has been driving very recklessly, uh, going the wrong way sound at some points, and it makes it harder for other drivers on the road that law enforcement hasn't been very close to this vehicle. So for other drivers, it may be very hard for them to tell that the vehicle is being pursued. But Mark, it seems like they're having a hard time catching up with it. Yeah, they, uh, there is definitely eyes on it. We are trying to relay radio traffic between our assignment desk and SkyCal in order to get the information because that sheriff's uh, airship is still following. That helicopter does have eyes on it. They never lost it. It's, uh, it's to the west of us now, uh, near, uh, I would say, Sawtell and maybe Nebraska over there. That's on the west side of the 405. Uh, so we're still trying to vector SkyCal in, and we apologize. We've been unable to get you a video of that, but they are still following this driver. Law enforcement has not lost this car. They seem very, this air commander in uh, the sheriff's helicopter uh, is doing a great job of tracking this driver, uh, despite, you know, having to go through several jurisdictions and communicating with other law enforcement agencies like uh, Costa Mesa PD and also the CHP. So it sounds like this driver may have gotten back on the 405 now. Sky Cal swinging the camera over to look at the 405. We're going to try and find it. It's right by Olympic Boulevard. So we're going to try and put eyes on this here in a second, Sheba, as we continue to listen to the helicopter follow it. I'm not sure exactly where it is, though. Okay, Mark, I'm going to check back in with you in just a bit. We'll see if they can get um, eyes on that driver again.